Welcome to another bonus edition of Upon Further Review. Upon Further Review! And in this edition, we'll be talking about the Baltimore Ravens at the Cleveland Browns. This week three matchup will be on September 21st at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, and you can catch down your local CBS affiliate. So the Ravens are going into Cleveland. And this is a kind of a tough game to pick right here. I'll tell you, the Ravens in week one, the way they lost to the Bengals, of course, there's no shame in losing the Bengals. They are a tough team, and they're going to win the AFC North, in my opinion. We shall see, though. It's still very early in the season, and anything can happen. So there ain't no shame in losing to them. I mean, it's a tough loss to lose in your division at home. Then they came out, though, in Week 2. It's an impressive win. Of course, that was against Pittsburgh. And they, they handed them, you know, that 20-point loss. So they looked a lot better. Of course, Flacco put up better numbers against the Bengals than he did against Pittsburgh. But the defense came up huge against the Steelers. And the Ravens' defense is really what's going to carry them to win games. I mean, they got offense, but, you know, Flacco could put up numbers. They got Pearson Forsett. They can run the ball. They got to have their defense is what's really, what's always been the key to the Ravens winning football games in this division and in this league. Of course, the Browns, they're an interesting team. They, they lost to Pittsburgh in week one in Pittsburgh. And, you know, a team that the Ravens beat by 20 points. But they lost a really close game on the very last play of field goal as they were actually down. And they came all the way back to tie it up. And then, I mean, they were just getting slaughtered. I think it was 27 to 3. And they came all the way back, tied it up at 27, lose by a field goal on the last play. They really, that's a heartbreaking thing. Last year, they lost a lot of games by one possession. I believe they were like, Two and six in games decided by one possession, something like that, to where if they had won those games, they could have been, had a, you know, they would have been the wild card team last year. They could have won the games they lost by one possession, especially that game against the Patriots. Who's gonna ever forget that one? Sorry to bring that up, Cleveland fans. But then in week two, that game, the way they shut down Drew Brees, their defense showed. The reason, you know, going into the season, I actually really thought Cleveland was going to make the playoffs with their defense. Of course, week one, they made me second-guess my uh, early prediction. But then in week two, they made me actually be able to, you know, take a breath and be like, all right, maybe uh, Cleveland will do something, you know. Because they're a team that's on the verge. You know, Hoyer is actually a very overlooked and very underrated quarterback doesn't necessarily put up big numbers, but he's pretty good at taking care of the ball and managing the game. And they've got, you know, they don't have Ben Tate in there. But Terrence West, he can run the ball. Crow can run the ball. You know, they don't have Josh Gordon. But we're seeing, you know, Miles Austin. We know that he has talent. Of course, he played with Peyton Manning over there in Indianapolis for all those years. And then Hawkins, you know, he's doing things. He's been the leading receiver for the Browns in both weeks in replacement, you know. So we'll see, you know, how that all develops. Their offense isn't really a high-powered offense, and they're not going to necessarily, they don't have that playmaker like Gordon that can just score anytime he gets the ball in his hands. But as long as they can be moving forward, managing the clock, not turning the ball over, and then their defense you know, giving their defense the time to rest and then get back on the field and shut down teams the way their defense is fully capable of doing. Because they really are a very good defense. They've got a really good linebacker core. They're pretty good in the secondary, too. And up front, too. I mean, they're really underrated as a defense. If you go back, if you saw how the team played last year, you see that they were a team that was on the verge of being something special. And so it's very... Likely is this the season for Cleveland where they finally make it back to the playoffs? Maybe next year, if not this year. I think they could do it this year. And this game right here is going to go a long way towards that. It's a very important game for the Browns. They want to be a wild card team. They want to make the playoffs. They got to beat Baltimore here. You know, this is an in division AFC North game. These are the games that you have to win if you want to make the playoffs. 
So the road to the playoffs starts here for both teams, too. It's just as important for Baltimore, especially being that they're on the road. Yeah, if you can pick up some road victories in division, that's huge. But you cannot afford to lose at home in your division. So the Browns got to win this one. Already saw the Ravens already lost, you know, at home in week one to the Bengals. So that's already one, you know, division loss. So they're one and one in the division. Cleveland is 0 and 1. That was on the road, so they got to now even up their division record with the win here. I think they can do it. I think they win this game. I think it's going to be close, though. It's going to come down to the wire, you know, right down to the end. And I'll tell you, it's tough to go against Flacco when a game is coming down to one possession in the fourth quarter, you know, the final possession of the game, which I believe this one should come down to the final possession. And we've seen Flacco at the end of games, this guy – he puts it into some other gear, like he enters into like Neo mode or something because Joe Flacco in the final two minutes, the guy pulls so many rabbits out of his hat. Oh, time and time again, I see so many times Joe Flacco playing really the best football that he ever plays ever is in that final moments on those final drives. Somehow, some way, he all dials down, gets even more accurate he's finding receivers he's scrambling he's doing all this stuff so you gotta be careful they gotta make sure they contain Joe Flacco at the end of the game and really they'd be better to make it a you know two score game and not let them get you know that opportunity at the end so it'll be interesting to see what how this plays out I'm gonna give it to the Browns because they're at home but I fully expect it to be very exciting at the end of this game Definitely a game I'll be watching close. It's one to watch for sure. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Very interested to hear everyone's opinion. Thank you very much for listening. It's greatly appreciated. Make sure to hit the like button. I hope you liked the show. If you didn't like it, then don't hit the like button. Because I don't want you to give me a like that you was not earned. But if, if you did like it, though, feel free to hit that button. And feel free to subscribe as well. We bring videos to you almost daily, sometimes multiple videos in a day, sometimes as many as 15, 20 videos in a day. So we might miss a day here and there, but it's very rare. So thank you again, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.